Hey everyone, welcome back to another TCJ episode, The Customer Journey. Greg with myself here, and we took a little bit of break, but we're back. We're going to be firing off more videos. And today, Greg, we, we just finished the first half of the year, and it was one of the worst in decades uh, for the S&P 500 and stocks falling. And, you know, there's a lot of dangers of investing complacency out there, uh, which we communicate a lot with our advisors. Uh, but what about marketing complacency? What 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 do you do when the markets are down, your AUM numbers are down, but you need more clients? What 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 is an advisor left to do in that situation? I got to tell you, Mike, a down environment overall is a huge opportunity when it comes to marketing. This is the thing that many people they just don't think about, right? We're, you know, it's like chicken little syndrome, the sky's falling and we're concerned about business looks down and what's going on. But this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to steal share from competitors, to brand yourself in a bigger way, to get out there in front of people. But when it comes specifically to financial marketing, guess what? It means that the consumers have concerns. It means that they're looking for more advice and more help than at any other time. When the markets are strong, you know, there's more confidence. When the markets are down like this or volatile, guess what? They're reevaluating things. They're looking for guidance. They're looking for help. And if you're turtling back as an advisor and cutting back on your marketing, you are making a big mistake. A, a big one, Greg, right? And when you talk about investing, a lot of it's for the long haul, right? Protecting that that basic, that core principle, those hard-earned savings, but also making sure that it lasts uh, for, for a lifetime. And, and when you think about marketing, you got to stay the course. And, and so step one, don't stop what you're doing. If anything, hyper-focus on what you're doing. Hyper-focus on the core topics that are out there right now, right? Like inflation, rising interest rates, a lot of these topics that people don't really fully understand. And moreover, they don't understand how it impacts their investments for the future. So if you if you stop the little things, the, the weekly emails, the weekly blog posts, market commentaries, whatever you're doing as an advisor to stay at top of mind in front of your clients and prospects, first things first, don't stop the basics. You got to keep that stuff running. Absolutely, Mike. Now is the time to be more aggressive, but not just more aggressive in you know, your overall marketing, but to really be thoughtful on your messaging, right? Because now's the time where you want to instill uh, thought leadership and confidence and you want to relay you know, we talk about the special sauce. We talk about your USP. Now's the time for you to, to, to deliver messages to say, this is what I'm really good at. This is why you should work with us. And, and these are the times that you want to be bold, get out there with your messaging and think through the what people are, what, what's on their mind nowadays, right? And address those topics. Mike, series of great videos or podcasts or, you know, there's so many different things that we could bring to the table to help push this out. But it's it's not just that. It's you have to think, what am I going to do to get in front of more prospects? Absolutely. And you got to communicate, right? You mentioned USP, unique selling proposition. You have to communicate that. And, and you're communicating it to a lot of different audiences, right? Leverage your current email database. You have a whole bank of clients that you can communicate to. You have a whole list of prospects that you've worked so hard to accumulate over the years. Start with them. Communicate your message. Whatever your brand might be, whether you're AUM focused or safety guaranteed income focused, it doesn't really matter. What matters is you communicating your message. Stay true to yourself in the marketing world, as well as in your investing and your core principles, because when you stay the course and you get a little bit more refined with your brand and your message and these times of uncertainty and these times of turmoil, the people are going to look to you. You are going to be the one standing out from among all of the competition that's around you. And that's how you're going to win more business. And that's how you're going to retain more clients. And, and it's all a part of the customer journey all along the way. Communication. Do not stop, if anything, up it in these certain times. So we're going to be back. More TCJ, the customer journey coming at you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, and we'll be back soon.